All right, what's up guys, it's Mitch Ordini, and today we're recording a Vivian video to try to help you decide whether you want to pull her or not. So the problem with Vivian is she is heavily reliant on her on her personal artifact, Dignus Orb. It, is, it, it's, it makes her super, super good. I did just do a fight that will be in this video that you will see just how good it is getting that extra survivability out of it. Uh, you can try Taga Hells, but honestly, if you're going for Vivian and you want to play at a high level of competitive, you need Dignus Orb. Um, it's just it, it's just such a good artifact. So if that's the only problem, if you are pulling for her, be prepared to pull for artifact. If you already have her artifact, pulling for her is very very worth it. She is insanely good. So mine is a imprint. I might pull another one just to cap her out. But once I reforge the ring, she'll be 99.4 and 228 speed and about 3500 attack. Maybe a little bit more because that's flat as well. So she'll be about 3500 attack and uh, she's sitting at 277 crit damage. That's where she'll be hard stuck because the ring doesn't have any. But overall, she has been working very good. One of the things to note is you do want to try to get some defense on her because the way barriers work, if you have defense sub, your barrier gets mul or it, it counts as extra health. So your defense multiplies with that barrier. So you definitely want to try to get a little bit of defense on your Vivian to help make sure that barrier keeps her alive extra well. So that's why you see the uh, 1064. It's not a lot, but if you have, so if you ever have a piece that just has some defensive subs, and you're like, eh, why did I roll defense? It comes in handy a lot. There are a lot of DPS units that benefit greatly off of it. T-Serum's one of them, too. Uh, if you pair her with uh, FCC or other barrier units, she kind of does. Not as well as Vivian. But with that, I am using her EE. This is by far the best EE, in my opinion, in terms of RTA. You can use her as a single turn cleanser uh, with her other one. I've seen that working occasionally well, but this is the most played best one and it's a 50 percent combat readiness boost when you use her s3 so the way you use her is you s3 she gets a 50 percent boost all your other units set yourself up to get the flush so you want to try to get a defense break in there soften up units and you want to build 10 souls that's one of the hardest things about vivian is you want to draft team comps to where you will build 10 souls in the time that you're going to flush you can also bring a tile holder but I, I i don't think you really need it uh tile holder can help but you, most teams you will be able to build the uh, the t uh, ten souls before she cycles around. I do have a little bit of molar on her S2, S3, or S1, S2. Um, I will fully molar S2. This is the most important one. Having this is nice too to get the extra combat readiness, help you cycle with her. That's why I did up to there. I don't really care about the extra damage right now. Eventually I might plus 15 her. Um, but she is also, another thing, she is also good in Banshee. She's good in uh, A13. If you put Layla's Violin on her, she's okay. She's not the best, but she does work well there. And other than that, she's just an all-around solid hero. So uh, we'll get into the matches, and you guys can decide for yourself if she fits your playstyle, if you want to pull her, or if you do not want to pull her. All right. So we're going to pick Clary. And we're going to pick... Do I early pick Roman? Let's pick FCC. Let's bulk down a little bit. Give me one sec. I don't know who else to pick before Vivian. So I have a defense breaker. I have another threat that he probably will let get through now. Um, but I need two damage dealers at this point. I mean, I want to use Briarwood to Syria too. But she can get blinded. I could use LQC here probably. Yo, let's try LQC. We haven't got to use her much. This is the last day I can int freely. But uh, Hideon, thank you for the follow. You've been hanging out for a while. I appreciate it. But shoe? Wait, you guys want to see a shoe? Shoe one? Oh, wait, I can't use shoe. My shoe isn't uh, geared. No, the ML tie one. I can still get the strip this way. Yo, this might be a good showcase. Oh, wait, this might be really good. Hopefully it's not here. All right. This might be a good Vivian. I think I see potential here. Oh, he's just going to ban Vivian. Crap, he's just going to ban it. I'm going to try to ban the ML tie one because he's banning Vivian. Oh! No! He debated me! Alright, so we gotta think, sit here for and think for a second. If we silence Ru Ruel, we have a chance to win. If we silence Ruel. Just ban everything? I wish I could. Clip slash switch slash create? Wait, Jack, what is that? The bots will rise? Alright, so... Ban Tywin? I did. Alright, we got it! Whoa, hold up, hold up, we might have it. The RV has attack buff, so what I'm gonna do is lock down the Arbiter Vildred, so he can only S1 me. Can't you handle this? 
Can we kill him on a defense break? We have attack buff. Please crit the Arby. Please crit the Arby. But I don't- I cannot survive two. That would've killed two. He's gonna- he's gonna- He crit my Vivian there. He didn't get greater because he's on Moonlight Dreamblade. I got damage mitt. I got damage mitt. Alright, send it, Dizzy. Alright. Ruel, send it. Hit me. The flush is coming. The flush is coming. The flush is here. The army's gonna hurt when he revives, though. The flush is here. Alright, the army's gonna hurt. <laughs> Army's gonna hurt. I don't know. This might be a really good match. Please be a good match. Don't kill me. He's been like Dreamblade, no greater. We're looking okay. We go ahead and poke this. Proc! You did proc! I don't want to hit the Arby. Yeah, keep cycling, keep cycling. We'll just keep wearing this down. Alright, Broman, you gotta proc this time. Proc this time, buddy. Proc. Yeah! Oh, we like it. Alright, we hit the RB2? Yeah! Good, good. Alright, this was a great showcase for her. Uh, how fast went Vivian? My Vivian is 225. 228 after Reforge. So we go ahead and give her the big bop. We miss. Doesn't matter because we get a turn cycle out of that because her S1 increases her combat readiness. So we will pass anyway and get to S2 again. We go ahead and soften her up a little bit. Let's go ahead and soften up the Arby a bit so we don't somehow throw the game. Bang! Vivian! Very good showcase there. She was able to survive an Arby hit, which it wasn't Greater Attack Arby. It was a Midnight Dream Blade Arby. But I feel like that was a pretty dang good showcase of her. So ideally when I draft her, I try to bring her with a Defense Breaker and set up to where you can get enough souls before she cycles into her S2. So you want to have a bunch of units that you S3 with right off the bat, which most of the time you do anyway. But you just want to make sure to try to get up to where you can soul burn once you get to that point. Because you saw, she wiped the whole field. Bang! We got one in the bag. All right, can we get another one? I'm appreciative. Yo, he banned Flurry. That actually makes this a lot easier for me. So, I mean, the same comp. We're just going to do Broman again. And I guess we get SSB for free, too. So I'm going to do Broman, SSB. Then I need a speed unit, so either Flitica or Rose. Hype for Charon banner? Uh, how many of you guys in here are gonna pull for Charon? I am tempted to get more imprints, but I just, I'm not a whale, so it's hard for me to justify pulling for imprints over just saying for new units. I see I'm on Tywin. Alright, this is, this is going good. I don't have a defense breaker, though. Because he banned Clary. So how do I want to try to set up defense break? Flitica? Let's try Flitica. Uh, so we'll do Flitica, and then what's another unit? I kind of want a tank of some sort. Yo, Fire CC right here. Fire CC would be great too. I cannot wait to get Fire CC. I, I, I could use another stripper. No, I, I got two, technically. Fire Cenebria? Yo, am I gonna try to CC this guy? Let's try it. We, we got some time. Let's try to CC. Uh, I'm getting, I'm a new player. Me, probably. You're getting it. For who? For K-Ron. In two weeks, so his banner will be out. Or in one week, sorry. I'm tempted to go for an artifact. The artifact's... The artifact's a budget Moonlight Dreamblade, so if you're a new player, it's worth pulling that artifact because you instantly get 20% boost. And then your damage is the one that scales, right? Or is it the evasion that goes up? I think it's a guaranteed 20% evasion. So if you're a newer player that's trying to use like Mercer and stuff, you can just throw that on there until you max out your uh, thing and it's gonna make your Mercer more consistent. Uh, I think it's the damage increases with levels, so it's a 20% guaranteed. Uh, I, I don't think it's the best artifact by any means. All right, what else does it do? Is this too much damage coming into me if I pick Vivian now? Okay. Uh, is this too much damage? I think I banned the FCC. I know it sounds weird, but I think I banned the FCC. We banned the FCC. Okay. So, it all depends on what he bans. If he bans the Broman. Oh, he. Paid Actor! Yo! That's actually a smart ban. But yo, if you're here, thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll cut that part out of the video. <laughs> I think we, I think we got a paid actor on our hands. Yo, thank you. I appreciate you. 
<laughs> I mean, she was a uh, he. I think I think that was the right ban because I would have got the defense break Vivian guaranteed flush from there. But that's the thing. Uh, Caesar Auto will counter me here, but he's not going to do anything. He won't transfer silence because ML Tywin. So yeah, see, bang bang. So now we have some sacks built up on SSB. I wish he wouldn't have hit the SSB though. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so what we want to do, we, so we S3 with Vivian here, and we haven't. So we S3 with Vivian. So we have to decide right here what reset we want to do. The reset is obvious. We have to go for this because Alencia can strip you. Alencia is a very hard unit to fight uh, Vivian against. So we got the reset. So all she can do is S1 me. She's going to go into the Vivian, most likely, because she has Mind's Eye. She will break through. Uh, luckily, she cannot defense break. She will do decent damage. And then she needs to get my Vivian. Oh, she goes for the SSB. And then RB is free to S3 right here. Don't grade her. Don't grade her. Okay. So he's going to S3. It's going to break all my other skill nulls. SSB counters right here. I think it kills the RB, actually. It might defense break the... All right, so we're in a decent spot as long as Vivian survives this. As long as Vivian survives, we can win. It's close. It's close. We don't have soul. Wait. We don't have soul burn. All right, so we go for the flush. I don't know if this will be enough to kill. It did kill two. Can it kill the ML Tywin? No, but he can only S3 me. Does this have enough damage to kill me? It does not. So Vivian comes in clutch and wins the game again. It wasn't even close. 445 HP. That's four. It's an easy game. So Vivian there, you saw if you bring Alencia, as long as you have a unit that can lock down Alencia... She can also work as well. So Vivian, just Dignosaur. That's why you need Dignosaur. She can go against many different teams. The Arbiter Vildred, which she was able to take two Arbiter Vildred hits right there, and survive for another Tywin S1. Um, I think I, if I was him, I would have played it a little bit differently, but that just shows the true power of Vivian. That was a really good game. I'm, yeah, the Bracera was a scary pick, not going to lie. Uh, I do not have Elena built either. I have a way I normally fight against Cleaves, but... And that was close to, like, the normal thing, but... As you saw, I was trying to draft to try to get him to pick Cerise so I could showcase Vivian on an anti-Cleave style comp. Because I was hoping he would do Cerise seed on, but he wasn't a seed on player, so... If you do Cerise seed on, you're able to pick Flurry, Basar, uh, Vivian. It actually is really good because their Cerise is probably going to miss one of those units and miss the uh, seed on boost, and then you can control from there. Or take control of the game from that moment. What happens if I pick Bryceria right now? Yo, what happens if I pick Bryceria? Rose? I'm gonna pick Bryceria. I wanna use her. This is like the last day I can like meme around with her. Valais? Are you here? Paid actor? Thank you. Confused, but sure. I appreciate it. The way that you are as a person. Um... Where's Vivian? All right, so last Vivian tried. Paid actor in a mock battle room. That's some H my head. We're not in mock battle. It's an auto one because the Sari is best girl. All right, we just made this. We just made this. Oh, mine's eye can be stripped. Negative. But you can put unbuffable. Yo, why'd you ban my fun unit? He banned my fun unit. That's annoying. He banned the fun unit. So Rose also gives AoE defense, so it helps uh, Vivian stay alive too. Uh, we'll just try this. Curious. What is this plan? But yeah, if you put on buffable on uh, what's her nuts, Alencia, she can't get the thingy. All right, so please get some stuns here. It's gonna be like my only chance of winning. We didn't get any. Thanks. But we did silence the what's her nuts, so she can't strip me. So that was the uh, the main objective, I guess. So Mercy will get to S one. The FCC will put up the barrier. As long as my SSB gets a turn, though. Crap, the barrier timing's terrible. Um, I need to land on Buffable. I need to land on Buffable here, but I don't want to hit the other thing. He didn't proc here? This triggers my SSB counter. My Vivian still doesn't even have her barrier wiped. So this kills the T-Cern, nice. So now he can S3, but Alencia is unbuffable. Alencia can only S1. Will this... Oh, it's enough to kill my thingy, though. 
Is this enough to kill my Vivian? I think it is. Oh, he goes fast to speed. See, he gets baited. Yo, he just got baited so hard. Watch. He just got baited. Yeah, you have skill null, but I'm going to flush you. So, Lenti is dead. Now I get the second flush. And I get some chip damage. Wait, I'm confused. And we get the proc. Nice. And we push back. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and just try to take out the FCC. I right, go ahead and poke this again. Try to get another proc. All right, and Vivian, Vivian for the final blow again. So there are three clean fights with Vivian. Um, it's very dangerous to bring Vivian into Alencia and not ban Alencia because she can't strip. But in this fight, I just banked off my Broman silencing. Very risky. Broman is replaceable with Flitica in these style of comps. Um, other than that, though, she's pretty good. I think she's a definite pull, especially if you play like some of these units. You can kind of maybe see if you can style her around uh, how I play her. But if you guys have any questions, uh, you can always leave a comment. I will answer any questions you have. But if you'd like to see more videos like this and are willing to subscribe, I'll be trying to crank them out as much as possible. I will be uploading a Fire Cecilia video here shortly. Uh, after I get her EE, I do have a bunch of currency to make sure I get the right one. But it's been Mitchell or Didi, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.